Hey there, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from BarPatrol.net. Today, we're going to talk about how to ring up doubles in your POS system, as well as martinis and neat pours. They all kind of fall under the same category. So we had this question in my bar and restaurant Facebook mastermind group. Someone asked, how do you guys ring up doubles in the POS system? There was a lot of different comments on there on how to do this, a lot of different ways. I'm going to show you the correct way to do it if you want to track your brands, each individual brand exactly as they should be in order to track your inventory. All right, because a lot of the ways you're doing it is, I wouldn't say wrong is kind of a strong word, but it's not going to get the job done And if you really want to know what's going on inside your bar. Speaking of my mastermind group, if you want to be a part of that group, I'll leave a link below the video. You can go check it out and join. It's free. There is so much good information in there. We have about 3,000 bar owners and managers in there giving amazing advice in there. I'm in there from time to time, but I just let that thing kind of run. There's people in there that know stuff that I've never even heard of. I'm like, that is an awesome idea, and I follow that stuff all the time. So I created this community so we could have exactly this, and there's amazing people in there. But I got this question. This is right up my alley. This is what we do inside Bar Patrol for the inventory app. People ask how we're going to track doubles, and you can set it up no matter your POS system. I wouldn't say no matter. Maybe there's a POS system out there that's a little janky. Who knows? But you should be able to set it up. Uh, the way I'm talking about here. So let's start with what you shouldn't do. All right, what you shouldn't do, first of all, is ring anything up as open liquor, beer, or wine. You can't track what that is, okay? And if you let your bartenders do this, they're off on the rails. They can do whatever they want. You can't track their liquor pours whatsoever, all right? No open liquor, beer, or wine tabs. If they're in your POS, get rid of them. And then I saw someone else in the group say, well, we just ring it in, well double, call double, premium double, and it charges the uh, the correct amount, and then we're all good to go. All right, the problem, once again, is you're not able to tell specifically which liquors are short, what your variance is on that. So if you're ringing it in that way, you're probably not even tracking variance. You're probably doing poor cost percentage, which doesn't even tell you half the picture. You need variance percentage to figure out what's going on. But even if you're doing it with variance percentage, and you can see what your call variance is, you have no idea which liquors it is. All right, so Bob's coming in on Tuesday night ordering double ja uh, Captain and Cokes, and you ask your bar manager, you know, how are those pours? Are they pouring heavy with them? Because he's a really good tipping regular. You know the bartenders are pouring heavy. Your bar manager's like, I don't know, right? Our variance on our calls is 30%. That's really bad, but we don't know if it's Crown or Absolute or Jack Daniels. We have no idea. So, for instance, if I go inside a Bar Patrol account here, this is our variance report. And you can see if we scroll down here, it has every single brand on here. And if we go specifically to Captain Morgan, you can see here the variance is 125%. That's a big red flag that Bob, who comes in on Tuesday night, is getting free drinks. He's getting overpours. You're able to track this, sit down with your bartenders and say, hey, we know what's going on. So extremely valuable. And the only way you can get this is if you ring things in correctly into your POS system. Okay, your servers and bartenders need to be ringing all this in correctly, but they can't ring it in correctly if you don't have it set up correctly. And that's what we're here to talk about. All right, last thing, and then we'll get into showing you how to do it inside your POS, is let's talk about modifiers. And some people say, well, we just ring in like Grey Goose as double, and then the double charge is extra, and then uh, we're all good to go. Okay, some POS systems are set up in a way in which when the modifiers ring in, you can see it's connected to Grey Goose, so you know it's a Grey Goose double. Most of them are not, and here's the issue we have. Here's why you need to go inside your sales data and see how things are rung up, because this tells the picture right here. This is an exported sales data sheet to Excel, and it has all the sales data on here, and you can see the ones I have highlighted are martinis and doubles, because when you go as martini or as double, we have no idea what this 66 or this 48, which liquors these are going to. So if you just have a modifier that says Grey Goose as Martini, Stoli as Martini, or Jack uh, as a double, we don't know where these are going to. They're impossible to track this way. This is why we got the question inside the Facebook group. They're like, how do I track it? This isn't working. Okay, so let's jump into a POS so I can show you how to do this. And the question was specifically for Upserve inside the Facebook group. They said, how do you do this inside Upserve? I have access to an Upserve account. Upserve has allowed me to have a demo account so I can show you guys how to do this. But this same process will work inside any POS system. Okay, so let's jump on here. Put these on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. 
And here's the back end of Upserve. Okay, so you as a manager or owner have access to this. And let's take a look. I've already set some things up in here, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, if we go to a check, what we're going to look at are these menus over here. And I'm not going to show you how to set up these tabs over here. Okay, there's there's videos on how to do that when you sign up for Upserve. Upserve is awesome, by the way. I love them. I'll have a link down below if you want to go get a demo with them. It's also a link that will get you like $500 off if you sign up. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at we're going to focus on this cocktail section where we're going to ring up all of our drinks okay and not everything's in here i've just set up a few so we have a you know a little condensed version of what we want to do okay so if we just go inside the traditional way let's say we choose vodka and we want a gray goose martini i always say martinis are the best deal in the house if you're going out to drink uh, get a martini because you're going to get a lot bigger pour than you probably should. Most places charge a $2 upcharge for a martini and they're usually getting a double pour. It makes no logical sense, but it's just the way it's been working in the bar industry forever. So the traditional way is to select Grey Goose and then we'll highlight it and go to modifiers and we'll go to bar. In this case, we have a as martini and it charges $2 upcharge. And there it is, the As Martini. Now the problem is, is we get this on the sales data sheet. This is one of those martinis that we have no idea once the sales data comes out that this went to Grey Goose. Okay, so this is the traditional way to ring it up. It's just not working. Same thing with, um, if we go to like Whiskey, Jack Daniels, and we do it as double, uh, we don't know where that double's going. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Now here's my feeling on doubles really quick. Different people have different ideas on how they want to do doubles. It really makes no sense to me. Once again, it's a bar tradition to kind of give a discount if they order a double. I don't really get it. So in my bar for years, we would just ring up uh, double whatever the cost is. If they order Jack and Coke double and Jack is $7, we charge them $14. Hardly ever had a complaint on this. One out of 100 people might be like, what? There's no discount. Hardly ever happened. So I would like you to get over that stigma that people are going to be upset about it. I know if you already have regulars, that's kind of tough. But you wouldn't give the second person who ordered a Jack and Coke a discount. So if Jack and, a double Jack and Coke's 14 but you want to give a discount and make it like 12 All right, if someone came and ordered a Jack and Coke and then he ordered one, you wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to give you $2 off yours. Why, why do we give them a discount off a double? So that's my feeling on that. If you're fine charging double like I think you should, Here's how you should ring it up, and it'll be very simple inside your POS system. Very simple, okay? It'll take a second for the servers and bartenders to ring it up, but just a second, and it's not a big deal. Here's how we're going to do that. We're going to ring in Jack Daniels. This is the server or bartender ringing it up. We're going to hit Jack Daniels here. We're going to hit modifiers, and we're going to go as double, but we're not going to put a charge on that, okay? We'll go back. There it is, and now we're going to hit Jack Daniels again. And it's going to charge them a second time. When the, I'm sorry, when the bartender sees this pop up in the ticket, this is what it'll look like when it prints up, they'll know this is a Jack Daniels and Coke. Sorry, I forgot to add the Coke. Let's go mixer Coke. Okay, so when it's rung up like this, Jack Daniels as double Coke and another Jack Daniels right behind it, they know, they know to pour it all in one glass. Okay, it makes sense to them because that's the process. So right there, you're tracking both Jack Daniels, these will both show up in the sales data and there's nothing else to worry about. You don't have to worry about that as double modifier. You're not even counting that in the sales data. Both Jack Daniels have been rung up. Does that make sense? Okay, so the way you would do that inside Upserve to do that little modifier, I probably don't need to show you how to do this because it's pretty dang simple, but I will anyway because I promised I would. If you go to menu setup and you go to your modifiers, you can see I've already set one up here called as double. All you're going to do is create new modifier and enter this information. It's extremely simple. So as double, I like to put a little asterisk next to mine to know that those are all the modifiers. The chit name in here is what the bartender will see when it prints up. Or if it's food, this is what the kitchen will see when it prints up. And this is what the uh, customers will see on the receipt. Okay, so I just put it all the same here. If you wanted to say something different, you can. And then for price, as the add double, we're going to do zero because we're ringing up a second Jack Daniels or whatever the liquor is. That's all you have to do. And then you save it. And then inside your modifier groups, we had a modifier group that we created called bar, which is right here. So if we click on there, you'll see that down here you can add all of your modifiers. And there's the as double there. There's the as martini that you saw earlier. So we've added it to the... the um, 
the bar modifier group. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so that's method number one. And now we're going to talk about method number two, which is unavoidable when it comes to especially doing martinis. You can't do this method with martinis, this method number one, because there's only a $2 upcharge. Unless you're going to charge them, you know, if Grey Goose is nine, if you're going to charge them $18 for a martini, double, which is just unheard of, you have to do method two right here for martinis. Um, and it's the best way I believe to do for doubles. Now it's kind of a pain in the butt because you're going to have to create buttons for every brand that you have for your double liquors. And you probably already know what I'm talking about. And if that's just a pain in your butt, then I'm assuming you don't really want to track what's going on in your business. Okay. Pay someone, pay a server or a bartender 50 bucks to go in and enter every single thing in the POS system. Show them one time how to do it. Say, Hey, we'll pay you 50 bucks to do this. It'll probably take them, I don't know, an hour and uh, they'll get 50 bucks or whatever you want to pay them, it's going to be totally worth it so you don't have to do it. Okay, so let's talk about that really quick. Let me get out of here. And let's head back to our main screen here. We'll go quick serve. And back to cocktails and spirits. Okay, and you can see here we have vodka and we have vodka martinis. So we have two different subcategories under the cocktails and spirits so if i go to vodka you can see all the vodkas there we just have a few set up if i go to Ma vodka martinis it's the same thing but they all say martini and now on the sales data it's going to say gray goose and then gray goose martini okay gray goose is going to be 1.5 ounce pours or whatever you pour your martini might be a three ounce pour now when we define that in the recipes if you have an inventory system now you're able to tell exactly what the bartender should be pouring this is how you have to set it up same thing here with uh, we have whiskey and we have whiskey doubles okay and as I mentioned you can see we have tequila doubles you're gonna have to do this for every single liquor you carry if you're gonna pour doubles all over the place you probably don't have to do it for your liqueurs and cordials no one's drinking double shots of peach schnapps usually um, but you're gonna have to come in and do it I just did it on a couple and you can see in the whiskey doubles it's ringing up double says after every single brand this shows up in the sales data like this this means of course if you have like 140 brands you're going to have to create 140 of these inside your POS system. Again, kind of a pain in the butt. Pay someone to do it. It's going to be totally worth it. So let me show you now how to do it. So here's what you need to do from the beginning. Okay, let's head back here into cocktails and spirits. And you can see we've done whiskey, whiskey double, tequila, tequila double. We have a vodka and a vodka martinis. Let's create a vodka doubles button right here that's the first thing you're gonna need to do so let's do an example we'll walk through vodka doubles and then we'll put in a vodka double like a gray goose double button in there okay and then you'll know how to do it so let's head back here we hit this little x up here we go to menu setup and when we get here we got to go to display groups and we need to create a vodka double button right here so the first thing you do is go create display group and i'll type all this in You can leave that alone. We're going to scroll down and just hit save. Now that's been created. Now we have to stay here in display groups and we need to go find that cocktail spirits right here, which is the tab that shows up and we have to assign it to this tab. Okay. So I'm going to click on there and you can see if we scroll down, here's all the other ones that we can see when we click on that tab. Okay. Now we're going to add a sub display group we're gonna search for it we'll just search for vodka there it is vodka double and now it's been assigned I'll hit done let's save it And now I'm going to hit done up here and exit out of here and go back to our main screen. Let's see if it's on there. So I go cocktails and spirits. And there's our vodka double. So we've created that. Now we don't have anything in there yet. So now we've got to create a, an, an, an individual liquor. Okay, so back to menu setup. And again, you show whoever you're paying how to do this one time. Right, you can even just set up the uh, vodka double, scotch double, all those buttons. And just show them how to add the individual items. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to items. We're going to go create item. 
leave that at normal. We're just going to call it a Grey Goose double. Uh, the chit name and the recipe name, we talked about that. We're going to keep those the same. There we go. Don't worry about the sides. The POS price, let's say that Grey Goose is $9. You can either put $18 if you're just charging double, or if you wanted to give them a discount like you want to, we can, we can make it $16 right there. All right, the cost... They have you put that in there. I don't know what the cost of that would be. We're just going to put $2 in. Our category we're going to put in is vodka. However, we're going to add it to the display group vodka double. So you have to do both. So we search for vodka. Vodka doubles come up. I hit done. And now we're going to save it. Now we're going to head back. And we're going to check it out. Here's our vodka doubles. There's our gray use double we just created. I can just hit that and it charges 16. Now this is a great way to set it up for your bartenders and servers. They'll love it. It'll make them a lot faster. Okay, if you have a double for every single button, they'll just hit it, ring it up, and it's gone. Okay, they don't have to go gray goose as double, gray goose, you know, and soda, anything like that. They can modify it and put gray goose double um, and put a modifier in there and put and soda. You can do that as well. Okay, but have someone pay someone to just go in and just create for every single brand. You can see how quick it went. I probably did. It probably take them, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds per brand. If you have 140, it's going to take them 70 minutes to put all those in. So pay someone to do it. It's completely worth it. Okay. I hope this all made sense. I know I went through it kind of quickly. I'm not going to show you how the entire back end of Observe works in this video just how to do the double section and the martini section It'd be the same process for setting up a martini button uh, If you do want to see more on Observe the back end I have videos for that go search them on YouTube and uh, you can find out more on how Observe works You can also get a demo with them. Okay, so thanks for being here I hope this helped you a little bit if you have any questions at all put them in the comments below uh, Go join the Facebook group ask them there. They are awesome. I'm gonna see you next time. I appreciate you being here I'm out